Good afternoon, one and all. We're gathered here today in a joyful celebration to witness the union of Anthony and Holly as they become husband and wife. Let us rejoice in their happiness. May they be granted the vision and hope to persevere in trust and in friendship throughout all of their days. As the family and friends of Anthony and Holly, you have gathered here to express your joy and encouragement on this occasion. Your love and friendship can support this couple in their relationship through good times and difficult times. Let us celebrate the joining of this couple in the true bond of marriage. As we are filled with joy and light, let us hold Anthony and Holly in our hearts as they now seal their union. May the spirit of greatness, beauty, and love be kept alive through us today and in them throughout all their years together. For the family, friends, and invited guests, will you, the family and friends of Anthony and Holly, you who know and love them best, will you pledge to them your honesty, compassion, and support? Will you be quick to encourage and slow to criticize, ready to share both tears and laughter? Will you share with them the deepest concerns of life, whether in grief or in joy, and so receive and give the love of the truly abundant life? If you will pledge these gifts to Holly and Anthony, please answer, we will. We will. We will. Anthony and Holly. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> your family and friends, your relatives, your acquaintances have spoken. I don't need to tell you that life can be a roller coaster. There's the good times, and they're really good and there's the difficult times, and they seem like they're never ending. These are the people, your family, friends, your acquaintances, your co-workers, that are there to, ready and willing, and very often very able to help you in difficult times. Turn to them, seek out their wisdom, for within this group is truly great wisdom. 
love is patient, love is kind. Love is not jealous, it does not put on airs. It is not snobbish. Love is never rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not prone to anger. Neither does it brood over injuries. Love does not rejoice in what is wrong, but rejoices with the truth. There is no limit to love's forbearance, to its trust, its hope, its power to endure. Love never fails. There's a child song which asks the question, what makes love grow? It tells of a smiling face and a helping hand, which are some of the things that make love grow. Today, Anthony and Holly are beginning to answer the question of what makes their love grow. As they commit themselves to each other, they will embark on a journey that will last the rest of their lives in pursuit of the answer to this question. Their relationship now becomes we and us, rather than me and my. Their love for each other will bind them together in the difficulties and in the joys that life presents. To make their relationship work takes much more than love. It takes trust to know in your hearts that you only want the best for each other. It takes dedication to stay open to each other, to learn and to grow, even when it is difficult to do so. And it takes faith to go forward together without knowing what the future holds. These qualities are not a destination, but a journey, a journey that you begin today and will be completed at the end of your days. No, there will not be parades and fireworks for your actions. Rather, they'll be the satisfaction of a deed well done, and they'll be your family and friends to support and encourage you. So what makes love grow? Your loving actions toward those in your human family. Marriage is an honorable estate. It is not to be entered into lightly or unadvisedly, but discreetly and reverently. Anthony and Holly come now to commit themselves to each other in the consecrated state of matrimony. May they be strengthened in heart and mind so that they may honor the vows they make here today. May the promises they make inspire and instruct each one of us who celebrates with them. And so I ask, Anthony, do you take Holly to be your wedded wife, to share your life openly with her, to love, honor, and stand beside her always in times of celebration and times of sadness, in times of health and times of sickness, in times of joy and times of conflict, to be her husband and best friend from this day forward. Holly, do you take Anthony Sorry. to be your wedded husband, to share your life openly with him, to love, honor, and stand beside him always in times of celebration and times of sadness, in times of health and times of sickness, in times of joy and times of conflict, to be his wife and best friend from this day forward? I do. <coughs> I, Anthony, take you, Holly, to be my lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness, and in health, so long as we both shall live. I, Holly, I, Holly take you, Anthony, take you, Anthony, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for better, or for worse, or for worse, for richer, for richer, or for poor, for poor. In sickness, in sickness, and in health, and in health, so long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Yes.
<clears throat> May these rings be the symbol of this affectionate unity. These two lives are now joined together in one unbroken circle. Wherever they go, may they always return to one another in their togetherness. May they grow in understanding and compassion. May their home, which they establish together, be such a place of sanctuary that many find there a friend. May these rings, which they wear on their fingers, symbolize the spirit of love in their hearts. Holly, with this ring as a token and pledge of the vows made between us, I offer you my heart, my hand, and my love. I join my life with you and promise to love, honor, and cherish you always. Sorry. <laughs> Anthony. Anthony. With this ring. With this ring. As a token. As a token. And pledge. And pledge. Of the vows. Of the vows. Made between us. Made between us. I offer you my heart. I offer you my heart. My hand. And my hand. And my love. And my love. I join my life with you. I join my life with you. And promise to love. And promise to love. Honor. Honor. And cherish you always. And cherish you always. Holly, I have invited you to hold Anthony's hands, palms up, so that you might see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend that you are holding on your wedding day, strong and vibrant with love, as he promises to love you all the days of his life. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future as you laugh and cry, and as you share your innermost secrets and dreams. These are the hands that will love you and cherish you throughout the days and years to come. These are the hands that will wipe tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will comfort you in illness and console you when you are grieving. These are the hands that will tenderly lift your chin and brush your cheek as they raise your face so you can look into his eyes, eyes that are filled completely with his overwhelming love and desire for you. Perfect. Anthony, I've invited you to hold Holly's hands, palms up, so that you might see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend that you are holding on your wedding day. <clears throat> Strong and vibrant with love as she promises to love you all the days of her life. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through the difficult times of your life. These are the hands that will comfort you in illness and console you when you are grieving. These are the hands that will love you and cherish you throughout the days and years to come. These are the hands that will give you support as she encourages you to chase down your wildest dreams. Together, as a team, everything you wish for can be realized. We pray, bless these hands, O Lord, here before you this day. May they always be held by one another. Give them the strength to hold on during the storms of stress and the days of disillusionment. Keep them tender and gentle as they nurture each other in their wondrous love. Help these hands to continue building a relationship founded in your grace, rich in your caring, and devoted in reaching for your perfection. May Anthony and Holly see their hands as encouragers, protectors, shelters, and guides. Amen.
We have joined these two individuals as one. Now as family and friends, let us join in the one prayer that Jesus taught us. Together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Anthony and Holly have declared before all of us that they will live together in marriage. They have made special promises to each other and have symbolized it by joining hands, <clears throat> taking vows, and exchanging rings. Therefore, on your behalf and on behalf of the entire community, by the power vested in me, I now declare Anthony and Holly to be husband and wife. Yeah. Anthony, yeah. Anthony, you may kiss your bride. <coughs> Anthony and Holly, may your love be strong. Let no misunderstanding loosen the bond and no passing of the years have the power to dim the light that now glows in you. May you gain wisdom to discern the true values of life, and may no circumstances take from you the wholesome peace and inward satisfaction that only love can give. My friends, it is now my honor and my pleasure to present to you for the first time Anthony and Holly as husband and wife. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the first dance that's husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. 